So we got a par three. 167, I'm hitting this seven iron into the wind. Welcome to Just A Rad Life. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Oh yeah, I play golf too. A lot of my friends that watch my channel ask, hey dude, why don't you show us some of your golf game and some of the cool courses you play? So this is one of them and I'm yelling at a golf ball. Come on, come back. Get inside that. Ton of a gun. Anyhow, I did hit the green, but I wasn't inside the flag for closest to the pin. But in this episode, we're making fried red snapper. We're gonna roast the breadfruit and fry it. And we're gonna make some festival, so stick around. And no, that's not a spider monkey. It's as big as one now. That was actually a squirrel. All right, so check it out. We are doing roast bread fruit in this episode as well. And the fry fish, because what's fried fish without fried bread fruit? So first thing we're gonna do is roast it. I'm just gonna put an X on the top. Damn it, yeah, that's sharp and right in there. And bread fruit was washed. You know, and I believe this is white heart. We've had success with white heart. Yellow heart's my favorite, but at the end of the day, I'll eat any bread fruit I can get my hands on. So we just scored the back of it with an X and the front of it with an X. And I'll just drop it on the fire like that. So meanwhile, back in the kitchen, Kay's seasoning the red snapper. As she scores each side twice with a knife, probably about an inch apart. And then she's gonna season them with salt and pepper. We get some pretty fresh fish down here. These were really nice snappers. All right, so this is store-bought festival mix. I believe it's Caribbean Sunshine. Kay likes the flavor. It's got to follow the directions on the box. So that's how you kind of want it. So we're going to bring it to the side so it can rest and then fry the fish. You know it's kind of done if you can just shove the knife in it. I'm going to slide that to the side a little bit. And we're going to pull this out to rest as well. So we added about three cups of coconut oil to the frying pan and one whole spot on the chicken. Here we go with the stuff, the green bread.
we're gonna remove the pepper. And we don't want it to burn out, but we can put it in here to be a long one with the beauty. So one technique we do is we hold the fish over the frying pan and we wait for most of the oil to drizzle back into the frying pan. Look at that color. Totally awesome. Great to taste it. Kay likes hers with flour. So we floured these puppies up. And now we're gonna fry them. And these make them super crispy too. Bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. Stop our faces. Oh, look at that perfect color. Oh. I wish you could smell it for me. It's a perfect color. It makes it super crispy because of the color. Last but not least, don't shoot that. So now we're adding the festival. So typically for the festival, they roll them long ways. Sort of like a hot dog. Best explanation I could have for the moment. Anyway, we did them like a hot dog and we also did them like a fried dumpling. Perfect color, perfect texture. And she's not looking, trust me, I'm gonna take one. Truth disclaimer. I can't even peel an orange. Watch how Kay peels this breadfruit like a marksman. So now that the first process of the breadfruit is done, which is the roasting part on the open fire, and we peeled it, this is the second part. You gotta remove the heart and cut it into wedges. Here's another way that you can remove the heart on the breadfruit. Just cut it into wedges and then remove the heart and cut it out. Oh, and by the way, thanks for the love with the subscriptions. Right. And thanks for the love with watching our videos. We appreciate it. Note to self, 
start the cook an hour earlier. Daylight savings is about to approach us. Sorry about the darkness, but we managed to get around this. We still have a little bit of time to go. So we'll just let them stay there for a little bit. So the sweet pepper, onions, and scotch bonnet pepper were thrown into the coconut oil for about a minute and a half. You don't want to do it any longer than that. You don't want to burn it. And wait till you taste the flavor tongue it gives the fish. Yeah, you're gonna want a pretty top with some scallion. Wow, this looks like totally awesome. We did some fried red snapper on the outdoor jacked up tire iron. And the ones to the immediate left are the ones with flour in them. And I made them a little extra crispy. And Kay likes it that way. And the ones to the right are the ones with no flour. And that's just the way I kind of grew up with them. Two different ways to do fried snapper. But at the end of the day, we threw some festival into the mix. We roasted some breadfruit. We did some vegetables with sweet peppers, scallion, scotch bonnet pepper. Did I miss anything? I actually missed the onions, but who's paying so attention? So I never missed anything, and then we're we just, just did, fun. Little, did a little drizzle on first. So ladies first, we're going to try this. This looks like super awesome. Let's go for it. Ladies first. Oh, you're going to try mine. What about yours? They're all mine. Oh, they're all yours. Mm. Mm. It's got a really cool flavor. And we did this just with salt and pepper. Mmm, that's good. That's really good. Make piece of that. I think this is white heart bread for you, but you kind of got away with it again. Which is really kind of cool. Wow. Fish is so good. Yeah, fish is definitely tasty, well seasoned. Wow. That's like amazing. Mm. Very flaky. Oh, the festival, yeah. Can I have the festival? Thank you. So, festival. Something we eat with fried fish. This is like a killer fried dish, so thanks for stopping by the channel. And by the way, if you like what we're doing around here, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. We just like to cook. Fried snapper on the outdoor checked up tire. Bye for now. You want good. <laughs>